now let's see a c program to convert decimal number into a binary number so here the input is decimal number whereas output is binary number so first let's see what is a decimal number so decimal means the base value is 10 a decimal number is a combination of digits from 0 to 9 Let's take the number 234. So it is a decimal number. Why? Because it contains 234. Let's take uh, uh, some 12,789. So it is a decimal number. Why? Because it contains 12789. So those are nothing but decimal digits. Let's see what is a binary number. So binary means the name itself specifies the meaning. Binary means 2. So binary means base value is 2. A binary number is a combination of 2 bits such as 0 and 1. Here we have to convert a decimal number into the binary number. For our understanding purpose, assumes that D stands for divided by. So for our remembering purpose, we are assuming that D stands for dividing. So here the resultant binary number is uh, the resultant number is a binary number. We have to convert the decimal number into the binary number. Assumes that D stands for division. So we have to divide the decimal number by 2. Why? Because here what is the resultant numbering system? Binary, binary number system. So that's why we have to divide the decimal number by 2 as long as that number is not equal to 0. So whenever the number equal to 0, then we can stop the process. So let's take an example. Assumes that decimal number is 27. So we have to divide the number by 2. Why? Because the resultant numbering system is binary number, binary number system. So 2, 27. So we have to perform the division operation. So if you take this example, so, 2 13s are 26. So, 27 minus 26 means 1. So, here this uh, division, we know that uh, here we are writing the program with the help of the C language. In C language, division operator will always gives the quotient. So, this is nothing but division, forward slash symbol. That is division symbol. Division will always gives the quotient, whereas the modulo will gives the reminder. So modulo means this percentage symbol. It will give the reminder. So 2 13s are 26. So 27 minus 26 means 1. So division operator returns that quotient 13. So that is the, the value here 13. So 2 13s are 26 minus what is the reminder here? 1 is the reminder. So 13 minus 1. So this 1 is nothing but our result. Next again here this uh, now initially n is 27. Now n is 13. We have to divide the number by 2 as long as n is not equal to 0. Here 13 is not equal to 0. So again we have to divide the number by 2. So 2 13. So 2 6 are 12. 13 minus 12 means 1. So division operator will give the 6. Whereas modulo operator will give 1. So 2 6 are 12. Uh, minus what is the remainder now? 1 is the remainder. Next two. What, what is n value? 6. So this 6 is not equal to 0. So again we have to divide the number by 2. So 2 3s are 6. 6 minus 6 means 0. So now 2 3s are 6. 2 3s are 6. Uh, next uh, what is the remainder? 0 is the remainder. Next again n. What is n value? 3. So 3 is not equal to 0. So again we have to perform the division operation with 2. So 2 1s are 2. 3 minus 2 means 1. So that is the result here. So 2 1s are 2. Uh, so what is the remainder? 1 is the remainder. Now what is n value? 1. So 1 is not equal to 0. So again we have to divide the number by 2. So 2 zeros are 0. 2 zeros are 0. 1 minus 0 means 1. So 2 zeros are 0. Um, what is the remainder? 1 is the remainder. If you observe here. So what is n value? n value is initially n value is 27. Next 13, next 6, 
next to 3 1 now n value is 0 so we can stop the process now now we got the binary number so we we have to write the binary number from this down to up portion down to up portion so first we have to write this one next to this one so 1 1 next we have to write this 0 next to 1 next this one so from down to top we have to write from bottom to top so the binary equivalent of 27 is 11011 so for this we have to write the program now let's see the logic i is equal to 0 why because here we are storing the result in an array uh, to perform operations on the array we are using i we know that the index of an array always starts from 0 so that's why the initial value of i is 0 next while n is greater than 0 here we can write the condition as either n greater than 0 or n not equal to 0 so both the conditions are same only so let us assume that n value is 27 so 27 is greater than 0 yes condition is true next uh, here the result is that modulo is the result so b of i equal to n modulo 2 so here what is n value n value is uh, uh, 27 and what is the initial value of i the initial value of i is 0 next while n greater than 0 as yes, 27 is greater than 0 condition is true b of i what is i value 0 so b of 0 equal to n modulo 2 so initially n value is 27 so 27 modulo 2 means 1 so now b of 0 will contains if you see here here we have an array so b of 0 will contains 1 now next here what is the logic we have to divide the number by 2 as long as n is greater than 0 or n is not equal to 0 so divide the number by 2 n equal to n by 2 what is n value 27 so 27 by 2 means 13 so now n will become so now n will become 13 next i plus plus next we have to store the result in first index so increment i value so now i will become 1 so the body of the while loop is over so once again control goes to the while loop uh, that while condition so n greater than 0 so now what is n value 13 so 13 is greater than 0 yes condition is true so next what is i value 1 so b of 1 equal to 13 modulo 2 so what is 13 modulo 2 we know that modulo will always gives remainder as the result so b of 1 equal to 1 so now b of 1 contains that 1 b of 1 contains 1 now next again we have to divide the number by 2 so n equal to n by 2 what is n value 13 so 13 by 2 means 6 so we know that division will always gives quotient so 13 by 2 means 6 so now n will contain 6 next we have to store the result in second index of the array so increment i value so now i will become 2 so the body of the while loop is over so once again control goes to the condition while n greater than 0 so what is n value now 6 so 6 is greater than 0 yes condition is true b of i equal to n modulo 2 so now what is i value i value is 2 so b of 2 equal to 6 modulo 2 so what is the result of 6 modulo 2 0 so now b of 2 will contains 0 so b, uh, here if you see here b of 2 contains 0 here next again divide the number by 2 n equal to n by 2 so 6 by 2 what is the result 3 is the result so n equal to 3 so now change n value so now n becomes 3 next next we have to increment the index value i will become 3 next the body of the while loop is over so once again control goes to the while loop while n greater than 0 what is n value 3 so 3 is greater than 0 so once again we have to perform the uh, that uh, divide as well as modulo so b of i equal to n modulo 2 what is i value 3 so b of 3 equal to 3 modulo 2 what is the result 1 is the result if you observe here b of 3 contains 1 next n equal to n by 2 what is n value 3 so 3 by 2 means what is the result 1 is the result 1 is the result next uh, increment i value so i plus plus so i will become now now i will become 4 next the body of the while loop is over so once again control goes to the while loop while n greater than 0 what is n value 1 1 greater than 0 yes condition is true so once again the body will be executed 
b of i equal to b of 4 equal to uh, what is the result n modulo 2 so what is the result of 1 modulo 2 modulo will always gives reminder so now b of 4 contains 1 b of 4 contains 1 so once again we have to perform the division operation n equal to n by 2 so what is the result of 1 by 2 so 2 zeros are 0 1 minus 0 means 1 so now n value is 0 n value is 0 so now we can stop the process why because now n becomes 0 next i plus plus we have to increment i value now so now i will become 5 i will become 5 now so now i value is 5 so now i value is 5 next the body of the while loop is executed uh, completed so once again control goes to the while loop so while n greater than 0 so now what is n value n value is 0 so 0 greater than 0 0 greater than 0 as yes. condition is 0 greater than 0 condition is false so whenever n becomes 0 then we can quit the process 0 greater than 0 condition is false so control comes out from the while loop so now what we are doing now we have to display the numbers from this bottom position to top position bottom position to top position here whenever the condition is false then what is i value i value is 5 but we have to display from this 4 to 0 we have to display from this 4 to 0 so that's why here the, the for displaying we are using j here j equal to we have to write the condition as i minus 1 j equal to i minus 1 why because we have to display from bottom to top bottom to top bottom to top so this bottom index is nothing but 4 this bottom index is nothing but 4 but what is i value i value is 5 so how to get 4 simply we have to perform decrement 1 so for j equal to i minus 1 so now j will become 4 next to 4 greater than or equal to 0 we have to write greater than equal to also why because we have to display this b of 0 element also if we write only greater than then b of 0 won't be printed so 4 is greater than or equal to 0 condition is true what is b of 4 what is b of 4 1 so first this one will be printed next we have to do the decrementation uh, after 4 we have to display 3 value so now j will become 3 so 3 greater than or equal to 0 s yes, condition is true so what is b of 3 1 will be printed next 0 will be printed next 1 will be printed next 0 next j will become 0 0 is greater than or equal to 0 s yes, condition is true now 1 will be printed next j minus minus j will become minus 1 so minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 so condition is false condition is false so the control comes out from the for loop so now let us see the uh, program uh, program execution so this is our program so this is our program so hash include stdio.h we need n b of 20 i equal to the initial value of i is 0 next j the input is uh, n while n greater than 0 so we, ne we need to have three statements uh, next we have to display the result i will share this program code in the description so please go through the uh, description yeah i will share in the first comment i will ping that comment also so please go through the first comment for the program so let us run the program one more time so enter your number 27 so what is the output now 11011 is the output so in this way we can convert a decimal number into the binary number